Hello, welcome back to another video. Slightly late in the evening here. I've got married at first sight on. Has anyone been watching the Australia version just on the telly? And it is pitch black outside. It is so dark. Uh, you can see through the doors there. So I wanted to um, do a quick haul because I went to B&M today and I got quite a bit of stuff, but I also filmed in the store. So I'm either going to add this haul onto the footage if there's not too much footage or it'll just be a separate haul but I guess we'll see once I edit the video together but I did want to share with you some of the new things that I've picked up some of the cutest little bits that I found as well this haul is a bit of a mix it's some homeware some household and some toiletries so let's get stuck in I spent 86 pounds today so I picked up some Dishmatic Essentials. You get three of these in a pack. I love using the little sponge like stick thing that you get and you put your washing up liquid in. We do have a dishwasher here, but again, I've said it before, I only put it on once a day or once every other day. Um, there's only two of us here, so there's not too much like pots and things to put on. If we're cooking a big dinner then obviously I'll put it on in the evening but if not it'll just go on the next day so I do like to hand wash where possible and these are just really good so I've got these and I also got a treat I had to get something so I picked up the Milky Bar mini eggs because we are two days away from Easter I think three days away um, and then soon these will probably be not in the shops although saying that sometimes they you can buy like cream eggs at Christmas can't you they just kind of keep chocolate all year round now but this is absolutely delicious so I got one of the those and then for three pound I got some multi-purpose microfiber cloths now this is a really good price because sometimes they can be really expensive sometimes they're like two pound for a four pack so three pound for eight is a bit of a steal of a deal so I stocked up on those the trouble is we I do try and wash them and keep them but they just disappear in this house like I don't know what happens to them so in a couple of months I'm probably gonna have to buy more but I do use these and I prefer to use these than the wipes that I've got I do buy the wipes but I prefer to use the clean and spray and then these because I can obviously wash them and use them again so I got an eight pack of those and then I picked up this sea salt and cool mint this is a three-in-one hair face and body wash so I thought my husband would like this so I got that for him I did get a bath mat I do have a couple of bath mats but they're just a bit tatty now and I just I kind of rotate them but and then wash them but I thought because this was only seven pound I'm just going to treat myself to a new bath mat so I actually picked up this one this is just the noodle bath mat and it was 6.99 in this kind of but I think brown colour is probably what you would best describe it as. It's the little bubbly one. I've had these before. It's 50 by 80 centimetres. And for £7, I didn't think it was a bad price at all for what it is. So I got that as well. So moving on to some toiletries, I picked up these ProFlex interdental brushes. So I do floss my teeth uh, twice a day, but I was at the dentist and they recommended the interdental brushes as well. So I picked up a pack. These were two ninety nine, which is quite expensive, but then not as expensive as going to the dentist because <laughs> the dentist is very pricey now in the UK. Even if it's on the NHS, like even if you like fit the criteria to be able to get like part funded dental treatment with the NHS, it's still really expensive. Um, but I did get these on the recommendations so I just got a pack of those for now and we'll see how I get on with those and then I also got some of this Mitchum I like this antiperspirant roll-on deodorant so I got one of those and then I also found quite recently they do the Mitchum spray I do prefer using the roll-on to the spray but sometimes I'll just keep the spray in my like rucksack my laptop rucksack for work um, and yeah I don't mind this it's unscented as well so that is always really handy to have I think this was like three pound it's quite expensive the Mitchum brand and then I also got some Corsadil daily mouthwash sometimes I buy the antiseptic knockoff version of this which is about £1.89 at Home Bargains but today at B&M this was only £2.99 and this sometimes can be like a fiver can be quite expensive in some um, supermarkets so because it was £3 I just thought I would get this one so this is just the Corsadil daily mouthwash and then the last toiletry bit I picked up was this Batiste dry shampoo so this is the uh, classic fresh dry shampoo and last time I brought the one that was um, blonde so you can get it for blonde hair because I'm blonde but um I thought I'd you know to be honest I thought I was picking it up the blonde one has the yellow can on it and I thought I was just picking up the blonde one <laughs> 
but it looks like I've just picked up the original, which is absolutely fine. It's just that sometimes if you use this stuff, you'll know that it leaves a bit of a white residue in your hair and you go out and you'll look like you've like not washed your hair for a couple of days or you've got dandruff. So I need to be careful with this now because the blonde one does obviously leaves your like roots of your hair. I've got like a balayage, so my roots are darker than my actual hair. Um, and yeah, I thought I was getting a blonde, but never mind. I've got a new dry shampoo. And then I also... I saw this as new on TikTok and my husband is obsessed with hot honey. He loves it. He sticks it on pizzas. He'll have it on pretty much anything, but he loves it on a pizza. And he sent me a picture of it on TikTok. I like saw the video as well, but he sent it to me and uh, he asked me to keep an eye out. And I actually found it in B&M. So if you're after hot honey, I know it's quite a popular product at the moment. B&M now stock it. It is a new product. And I think it was about £3, like £2 something. Um, it's 340 grams and it's got the chilies in. So yeah, I'm really excited to give him that that is for him I also got two the other one is in the bag at the bottom so two more of these breakfast containers because these are so nice and I've got three but we use them quite a lot like obviously every day so sometimes it's nice to have a few spare they come with the little spoon they come with a little pot inside I do mine with granola yogurt and, and berries if you watch my grocery hauls I talk about it a lot on there but yeah they're two pound and they come in three different colors but I went for the pink ones today so I got two more of those I also got this little trinket dish if you'll see like my kind of decor in the lounge so I'll just move this out of the way but this is my coffee table here and this is the kind of style of decor that I like very neutral but quite I think people call it vanilla <laughs> on TikTok if you like lounge or your interiors and your lounge are pretty much cream then you're apparently quite vanilla um, and I'm fine with that so this is going to be part of that I want this to go on the coffee table next to that book I might put some pop puree in it maybe some neutral pop puree I'm not sure but I just loved the dish I thought it was really nice and it will suit the lounge because it fits in with the colour scheme as well with all of the things that we've got here so very neutral decor but this was four pound and that that is a stunning little ceramic dish it's a trinket dish so sometimes with these big bowls I'll put fruit in or things like that in the kitchen island but you can't really do this because it's quite a rough texture so this is going to be for the lounge and I'll stick it on the coffee table so I picked up that I also got a new fridge storage container for my YouTube shorts I've been making YouTube shorts all sorts of things lunch pack lunches um UK candy that's always gone down really well so just kind of restocking and sticking it with sweets making a video and putting on youtube shorts and a lot of you absolutely love it so i was going to get something to put the sweets in and this is right up the street of what i need it is three pound and it's a fridge storage container with removable baskets i actually have the two large versions of this where you are they are bigger and you get two um, plastic storage removable baskets inside and i use them for the raspberries and the strawberries and the like berry fruit that i keep in the fridge and then i use the other one for grapes so i always prepare the fruit wash it and then put it in these and then put it in the fridge but they, they've got the smaller ones now so i think i'm going to use this for youtube shorts but if you wanted fridge storage containers that were small because you get four inside here so um four little baskets then b and have got you covered they are a new product so i got that and then i got some this is Hinch um, Frosted Rose Wonderland Softener at the back there because I needed to get some softener for our laundry. And then I also saw this, which I just thought was so lovely. I had to pick it up. It's a two-tier bamboo caddy and it was £6. So it's the wooden bamboo frame and then it's got the white plastic trays. And I just thought that was really nice for the bathroom. And to be fair, I thought £6 was a really good price, especially for two-tier because you can get quite a lot on there. So picked up that and I love the style of it. And then I also, you can see here, it's kind of intertwined with the rest of the haul, but I did actually get this garland so in a few days once easter's finished my easter dining table will be coming down i did actually do a video on how i decorate for easter on the channel so you can watch that one if you've not seen it but on that video i have got like a like a garland an easter garland that runs on the dining table on top of the um dining table runner and then it's got easter eggs on and trees and all sorts of gorgeous bits but in a few days that's going to come off and i just love a garland on my dining table in the center so at christmas obviously we have a christmas one at halloween and autumn we have an autumn one and then in the summer we don't have anything so i picked up this for the summer <laughs> basically once easter's over i'll be able to put this out on the dining table and everyone will absolutely hate it um but yeah 
yeah, I couldn't resist this. It was either this or the wreath because they had the matching wreath, which you'll see on the video, the footage that I took in the store. Um, and this was £10. But I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the colours. So we've got the pink and the white and green and the lavender. And it is very, very pretty. It's also quite long as well. It's completely wrapped around this hall on the table there. But the length of it is 1.8 metres. So our dining table expands to a six seater so it will definitely fit the whole like length of that table which is great so i picked up that and then the last thing i picked up is these um eight pack vacuum storage bags so in a few days i'm going to be sorting out the spare room upstairs over the easter break and i'm gonna put all of my clothes because i'm getting rid of a set of drawers so i'm going to put all of the clothes into these vacuum storage bags and then like suck all of the air out and then kind of keep them all packed ready for the house move that I talked about in my grocery haul and these were £10 which is such a good price you get eight they are different sizes so you get two of the really big ones they are the 89 centimetres then you get three medium at 48 centimetres and then three small at 40 centimetres but if you go on Amazon or any kind of place and look for um, vacuum storage bags that you can kind of store clothes in or towels or in they're really expensive individually so 10 pound for eight is such a good price so i picked up that as well and then that is the end of the haul i did get some more toilet roll but i've chucked that upstairs already and then i also picked up a pack of snickers um but i've not put them out because i've put the milky bar mini xx bar out and i feel like that is enough treats for this haul so the snickers are actually i think they might be in the car to be fair um but i did get a four pack of those as well so that's the haul i hope that you've enjoyed watching thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day take care have a great week and i'll see you on the next video bye